Okay, so in this video we're going to look at a uh, word transformation task from a CAE book, okay? So it says here, it's easy to understand why marathons were once thought to be elitist activities. Elite is like from the, you know, upper tier of society. The first marathon funner was an ancient Greek, can you think? It would be messenger, yeah, because we're talking about a person. Messenger, okay? Who ran from who ran marathons to Athens, from Marathon to Athens. So we've got two different cities, okay? To deliver a warning about an approaching enemy. Yeah? Approaching yeah. enemy. All right. Drop dead just after finishing his run. Okay. Termina de correr los 26 millas, creo. Uh -huh. And then he drops dead. Bang. Hits the floor. Okay. But mass production, I'm sorry, mass participation marathons like the New York Marathon proved that this was incorrect. I mean, not everybody who runs the London Marathon or the New York Marathon in this case is going to die, right? So, the New York City event started out in 1970 when there were only 55 finishers. Yeah? Now there are nearly 300 uh, 30,000 runners annually. Yeah, remember, guys, we need double L for annually. If you'd wrote, if you'd written um, annually with just one L, sorry. Okay. Um. Of course, uh, similar numbers are seen in other cities around the world, like London and Tokyo, etc. Of course, it's hard work. Yeah. Well, you're running a marathon, right? A great deal of. Uh, I mean, it's not the point of this exercise, but a great deal of something is a nice set phrase. Okay, and dedicate, uh, it's going to be dedication, right? Dedication goes into, I said, mete in completing a course. The people who run successfully, okay, so success, double S, please. Successfully, double S, double Y, uh, double I, double L, sorry, are those who are very fit and who have trained consistently. They may have re they may be regular athletes, so perhaps have a healthy diet. Um, easy, uh -huh. a healthy diet and training program. But marathon runners also include formerly overweight or unfit folks. Uh -huh. you notice overweight, con sobrepeso, or unfit. You know they're kind of like they go hand in hand. Folks who decided to use a marathon as an excuse to get into shape. Okay.